enough. Maybe if I go into YouTube here and play a video, let's play one of my old vlogs. And so that's it. The iPhone 11 Pro is done and it's exactly So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Welcome back to the channel. Today what I want to do is an all day battery test on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So I'm just going to give you periodic updates throughout my day and show you how the battery does perform. Now this is not the very beginning of the day, I just got done uploading a video and I made a pact to myself that I am absolutely not going to upload no videos until this one is completed, until I actually drain this battery so it might be a day or two before we actually deplete the 11 Pro Max I'm just gonna use it like I would and you'll see how it does perform okay so here it is the 11 Pro Max and you can see right here we do have a hundred percent charge right there I am connected to T-Mobile's network and I am on Wi-Fi but when I leave I will be on LTE data so let me go ahead now before we get up out of here and show you where my battery capacity is and I will go ahead and just pull this lightning port off now that we're ready to go. So kind of take a look at the battery level settings right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the battery health and you can see 100% maximum capacity. So this is still a fresh iPhone. I'm going to be using this green case on it right here. If you guys want to get this case, I'll leave a link down below. I think these are actually on sale on Amazon right now. This is the pine green silicone. But yeah, let's get up out of here and I will go ahead and give you updates throughout the entire drain process of this phone. Okay guys, so I got the Pro Max here. I'm in the car now. I'm about to head off to go get some lunch and go to the store. Um, let me go ahead and start it up. Now, the first thing I'm going to do when I get in the car right away is I'm going to go ahead and connect the iPhone 11 Pro Max to my Bluetooth system and I'm going to stream Amazon Prime Music from this phone. So essentially what's going to happen is that I'm going to have to be using the LTE on this device which is important uh, because when you're on the go you don't really got Wi-Fi. You're re relying on the cellular data so that should drain some of the battery. So I'll give you an update a little bit later. Right now it's about 1.17 p.m. right here and a couple of things I want to mention. Again I'm on LTE data. Also I'm going to have the brightness turned up about right about 80 percent or so. On the iPhone, I do leave Bluetooth on for my Apple Watch. Let me go ahead and turn that back on. And I will turn Wi-Fi off. And I also do have location settings on while using this phone out and about. Also, Apple Watch Series 4 will be connected to this throughout the entire time. Well, at least if it lasts throughout the entire time. The Series 4 might deplete before the iPhone 11 Pro Max does. So you can see I do have my iPhone connected to my car system and that means that we're going to be streaming the whole time. You can see streaming right there. Okay guys, so I just arrived to my first location. I'm actually going to Office Max to check out some things I need for the studio. But um, it's like about 2 o'clock. I've been streaming already and I want to show you something I really like about the iPhone in just a second. But it's still daytime on our first vlog day here. For the 11 Pro Max and the sun's about to go down in just a couple of hours here. Daylight savings just happened a few days ago so it goes down around 4 o'clock or so. So let me go ahead and show you the iPhone 11 Pro Max after about 40 minutes of usage. Alright guys, so you can see LTE is still connected 100% after listening to a podcast the entire time. Um, the last, like I think I started this at 1.11 p.m. So the last like 40 minutes or so. I decided to listen to a podcast instead of stream music. And uh, not a lot of screen time but still. 100%. This is something I love about the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It, it stays on 100 for quite some time. And it starts to deplete a little bit faster, but still, I like how it stays on 100 for quite some time. So, 155, I'll give you an update when it actually starts to deplete a little bit more. So, I'm actually recording some video in here on the iPhone 11 Pro Max just to go ahead and drain some of the battery. Um, so this is the audio and the quality that comes from the phone itself. Okay guys, so it's currently 5.46 p.m. and I'm giving you an update now and if you're wondering why it's so dark now, that's because uh, it gets dark here early in Chicago. I actually have a phone putting a flashlight on me so you can actually see my face. It's really dark right now, but it's only 5.46 p.m. I'm going to lower the brightness down so you guys can kind of see where the 11 Pro Max does stand at this current time. Let me go ahead and pull this down and you can kind of see 
where the battery life is for the 11 Pro Max. It's currently hovering right around, it looks like four hours already. We started at 111 and my usage has been pretty, I would say a couple of phone calls. I've been using it to stream. I also been using it to browse the web a little bit. In addition, I've been checking the weather. It hasn't been a super heavy usage day so far, but still, uh, that's not bad. We're already four or so hours in and we got 89% on this phone. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the actual usage. So you can see 89% right there. Now earlier I had the brightness high, but why would I want this blasting on my face right now? This is one of the brightest phones in the industry, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our battery settings. So let's go to battery and I could kind of show you some statistics of where we're at. So we charged right around here at around 1 11 p.m. and you could see that Throughout the day, I haven't been doing too much screen on time since that last charge when we started this video, but I did have a 40 minute phone call which used a ton of the battery life. So using a uh, phone calling could potentially drain it a little bit. But again, we started around 1.11, it's 5.12 p.m. on day one here for the 11 Pro Max. I gotta go and take care of some business and I will update you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so this shot is being taken on the 11 Pro Max. I'm actually headed out of my garage to take care of some business where I'm gonna be using the MacBook Pro alongside of the 11 Pro Max. So essentially use the phone together. You know, you would be working with your phone and your laptop to get you uh, to drain the battery a little bit more and we'll see how things pan out. Okay guys, so we've arrived at the Starbucks. I'm gonna go ahead and head in there and I'm gonna do some work here for a little bit while and I'm gonna use up the 11 Pro Max uh, while I'm using the MacBook Pro to go ahead and see how much we can drain and then I'm gonna head back and that'll probably wrap up the day and if we're not fully done, which I don't think we are gonna be with this battery, we will go ahead and go into the next day. All right guys, so we're basically out of there and I have drained quite a bit of battery life for the 11 Pro Max. So as it got brighter in the Starbucks, I did turn up the brightness and it was way up in there, but as I'm in the dark now, I am turning it down. And I do wanna mention that dark mode actually saves battery life for uh, the iPhones, especially the OLED models, not so much for the LCD. So with dark mode, I should be getting even better battery life but in there i was using the apple news application and the phone right now has been on basically since 100 percent since about 1 11 p.m so doing fantastic so far if i go to battery life you can see that as we come over here i was using apple news quite a bit in there so it used 11 percent of the battery i also posted to instagram and now i'm going to head back and read some more news at the studio i'm going to write in my tasks application and get ready for tomorrow yeah guys so so far you should be able to see why everybody is raving about these phones like it they're doing very good in battery life especially the 11 Pro Max. All right guys, so at this point in the day, I'm pretty much done with my video creation. I've done my research and I start to wind down now, but typically I'm gonna go on the iPad around this time. And as I get tired of reading on a screen like the iPad and catching up on some industry news and technology news, things like that, then I will turn the iPad off and I will continue to read on the 11 Pro Max. It's seven hours in already, it's going at eight o'clock. We started around one, and I know some people could say you should have started earlier, but I typically don't leave my studio until about one, two o'clock, so leaving with 100% is what I typically do anyway, so this is very realistic, at least from my experience. Okay guys, so I'm here in bed and I'm actually recording this because I want you to see that, you know, this is what we would do. We would probably be reading or checking up on a video at nighttime. And I'm getting ready to start putting this phone down for the night. As I told you, I was going to be reading on the iPad, which I've already been doing, but I've been getting some phone calls, making some texts, and the battery went down a little bit. So let me give you a quick look at where it's at right now, and then I'm going to give you one more update before I actually go to sleep. It's been a couple hours, and I did switch to Wi-Fi because why not? We're in the home Wi-Fi. Why not go for it? 
and uh, that's something you would probably do as well you get home you go on your Wi-Fi so 66 percent now again I'm not gonna be using this really that much at all but before I do go to sleep what I usually do is I go into Amazon music and I listen to music to get to sleep and while sleeping so it's actually on for a couple hours during that process I will give you one more update before I actually go to sleep and I'll show you where the percentage is so we can kind of check out the standby as we go into the next day okay guys so this is the last time I'm gonna update you before I do go to sleep here you can see that it is 59% it is past a little bit past midnight so we are in the next day it's already Friday November 8th on this phone night shift is on here also we do have do not disturb on because I need to leave that on overnight but Bluetooth will stay on and I typically leave Wi-Fi on as well overnight and we'll see where the percentage does stand in the morning here but it looks like I'm gonna have well over 50% to go again I told you I do stream music here overnight and I will be tracking my sleep with the Apple watch okay guys so it's a new day here you can see 8 42 a.m. I'm going to show you where we are now at 52% so it did drain a little bit overnight like I say I did have my headphones connected was listening to Amazon music and I want to give you here an update for this device in the battery settings so let's go ahead and take a look at where we are you can see that we started last charge level at 1 11 p.m. on Thursday and that was yesterday when we began this vlog and you can see so far 18% in messaging 13% in phone I did use some of the Amazon music some news camera so I've been using the entire phone podcasting photos Safari, YouTube studio Gmail so lots of usage here on the device and I'm gonna give you some more updates as we go throughout this day okay guys so we're now on day two and I'm actually headed to the store right now to go ahead and get some groceries and also going to get some breakfast while I'm out as well and I will flip the camera around right now and show you kind of uh, where the 11 Pro Max is okay the time is 10 11 a.m. and you could see right here I'm at 41 percent again I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi off gonna be connected to LTE and I'm also gonna turn up brightness so it's gonna be high brightness here for 11 Pro Max once again because we're out and about and then I will give you updates as we continue on into day two for 11 Pro Max so I'll see you guys a little bit later okay guys so it's 11 26 a.m. I'm now done with breakfast and I want to show you where I'm at here for the 11 Pro Max 33% so I did drain it down quite a bit and I don't know maybe we're not gonna make it through this full day uh, as of what I'm seeing right now I'm um, looking like maybe halfway through the day so maybe this is a 1.5 day phone Qualcomm Snapdragon apples now the phone actually dipped down to 30% and I figured that the iPhone will go all day but it looks like as I'm using it a little bit more today that it's only gonna last into maybe 1.5 days here. And yes, I'm in the liquor section but I'm not buying any liquor right now so don't, don't you be thinking that. <laughs> Always gotta get the PB&J, of course. Okay guys, so we're back in the studio and it's been a little bit over a day here for the 11 Pro Max. It's now 1.16 p.m. and the battery life is currently at 21%. So a little bit over a day doing fantastic here for the device. Now if I scroll down, you can see that um, we're running right around six hours of on-screen time and that's pretty mixed usage for this device and you can see that this is pretty easily making it through a day now a lot of other phones would have already quit on me so there's multiple ways you can conduct this test I could take it out in the field and I could do a lot of recording and kind of do a lot of photo and video work and stuff like that and that would drain it faster that's another variable also I could play mobile games on this phone all day watch Netflix all day that's a separate test but every test is only going to give you a general idea depending on what that person is testing. And you're looking at one that has a timer next to it, which I've done in the past as well, and you're doing multiple things, and you're kind of looking at how fast can we drain this thing? How much can we, how much this, can this phone take before it's going to go down? But when you actually put this phone in your pocket and you're using it, 
how much are you going to be doing that stuff? You're probably not. So that's why I wanted to bring you along on this journey of the way I use the phone. And if you're a lighter user, it's going to last longer than what you're seeing. If you're a heavier user, it's probably going to deplete faster than what you've seen today in this content. So guys, just around 8% to go and we will be done with this testing of the 11 Pro Max. Okay guys, so we're basically there at the end. 3%, it's 3.13 p.m., no low power mode, mostly high brightness. I had some Wi-Fi on when in the studio, but LT most of the time went out. You can kind of take a look at the final stats for yourself. Take a look at the graph right here, how the battery drain is pretty consistent. It doesn't really fall off, but you kind of see my usage mixed up pretty good. We have YouTube, messages, camera. I did a lot of video even for this vlog with this phone. Lots of Safari usage, Instagram, um, I was using some other applications, news, Twitter, listen to some podcasts multiple times. So um, probably not the highest on-screen time because I was using it a lot for streaming as well as camera and video stuff. But if you just use it to watch videos and things like that, you can get much longer screen time. But still, this is extremely impressive battery life. So let me know your thoughts on how it did in this vlog. Hey guys, 3.24 p.m. and we are on its last percent here, 1%. So I probably expect it to really kick out any second now. I'll go ahead and see if I can drain this down enough. Maybe if I go into YouTube here and play a video. Let's play one of my old vlogs. And so that's it. The iPhone 11 Pro is done and it's exactly 3.25 p.m. So that's gonna wrap it up here for me of the iPhone 11 Pro Max all day battery test. It's been super fun, you know, with this phone. It, it really does last quite a bit of time and this is actually the longest it ever took me to create one of these all day vlogs and that's because this phone just doesn't wanna quit when it comes to battery life and I was, not actively trying to deplete it, but also using it how I would normally use it. Now, if you put on low power mode, lower the brightness down, keep it in your pocket, you're having a busy day. This phone I can easily foresee going two, two and a half days without breaking a sweat. So, thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it really does help out. And uh, share this video if you found it entertaining, informing, enjoying. I love you guys. I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.